Hey, 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 hey. I just wanted to come in here today and say hi and show off my um, puzzle collection you see behind me. Um, I don't know how many puzzles are in my collection because I haven't counted them, but I think when I put them away, I will count them and I will add that to the video and in the description. So, um, if you like what you see, for sure, subscribe. Today's my birthday, so if you want to subscribe, that would be an amazing birthday present for me. And I'm not going to say all day because, yeah, we're getting up there in age. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to show you pretty much all the puzzles I have. Um, I have a lot hanging up on the walls and stuff. They're not obviously going to be in this video, but maybe I will go through my house and show you all the puzzles I have hanging also. So, all right, hang on. All right, so we're going to start with this column, I guess, with the Buffalo games. There's some Lego puzzles in here. Um, a lot of Star Wars puzzles because I find a lot of them at Target or my husband finds a lot of them at Target. Um, these photo mosaic puzzles, ooh, I don't remember. I, I don't even remember when I bought those 10, probably 10 years ago. Um, mini figure faces. It's all Lego faces. Um, you've probably seen that on YouTube. So I have seen people put it together. I just haven't gone around to it yet. That's a 3D puzzle case my friend made. There's a puzzle in there. It holds 500 pieces. Uh, it's got a Christmas puzzle. <laughs> so, really super cool. The stuff they create with their 3D printer. Here is the... Okay, at the bottom is the Educa, it's a, I don't know the, I can't remember the exact name, but it's the jungle puzzle, 33,000 pieces. Um, above that is the Mickey through the years. It was the 90 year anniversary for Mickey. 40,000. I've already done the Disney memorable moments, 40,000 piece puzzle. It's, um, it's packed away cause I don't have a place to actually hang it. Maybe one day. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this Keith Haring puzzle is another one that I'd really love to do. And I wanted to mix the pieces on it, but I just don't have space to actually miss, mix the pieces. Uh, that one's 32,000. And then there's the water, at the watering hole, 18,000 piece. The Paradise Sunset, 18,000. The Star Wars, 18,000. I'm currently working on the Star Wars puzzle. I have started the third section of it. Hopefully I'll have that done next month. I have another 18,000 piece hanging in our garage. It's called um, Tropical Impressions. Very, it was pretty hard, <laughs> but amazing. Uh, the Zodiac Puzzle 9000 is actually hanging on my wall. It's another Educa puzzle. Um, that one comes in just one, one big 6,000 piece bag. Um, they also did the life puzzle that was 24,000 and each section was 6,000 pieces. So I know how big that this puzzle will be. Um, the 24,000 piece life puzzle is hanging on my living room wall. Uh, this Darth Maul puzzle is a photo mosaic. I definitely need to get that one done. It's amazing. Uh, there's a Dale Earnhardt photo mosaic. Um, a lot of these are Buffalo games. Fairly newer Buffalo games, but I bought my first Buffalo games puzzle when I worked at Wendy's back in, I think, 1988. And I'll show that one to you here in a minute. A lot of Dog Days puzzles, because we love dogs around here. I have two Basset Hounds. Um, there's the Hay Monster puzzles. I have one hanging in the laundry room, the laundry room monster. There's more Buffalo games and there's some spring box puzzles. The 2000 piece in the red box is the Centennial Coca-Cola puzzle. Um, I think the Centennial was in 1986. So that's a pretty old puzzle. Um, that Darth Vader one at the very bottom, it's uh, shaped as Darth Vader. I'm probably gonna do that for May the 4th be with you. Uh, this is my very large, tall stack of Robinsberger puzzles. There's the Treasures from the Vault puzzle. 
uh, the Disney villainous puzzles, which I, I'm still missing three from the new set. Um, more Buffalo games. There's a masterpiece puzzle. Uh, escape room puzzles. I have a lot of the escape room puzzles because they're really fun. Odd pieces. Those are kind of like Wazzy, Wazzy Gish puzzles. They, the picture on the box is 15 seconds prior to what you build or something like that. They're really cool. There's, um, world's most difficult puzzles. I bought those a long time ago. I still need to get them done. Another one. More escape room puzzles. Um, Sieco, Cardinal, Buffalo Games. Another villainous puzzle. A lot of murder puzzles. I love true crime, and these murder puzzles are really fun. Um, more world's difficult puzzles. There's some shaped puzzles at the bottom. The world's most difficult puzzle, this one in the green. I actually put it together. I bought it back in high school. Um, but it's basically that particular puzzle is just all these leprechauns and he's putting a puzzle together. And then when you turn it around, it's the same image, 90 degrees rotated. Um, it's the first puzzle I ever did where I had an extra piece that didn't fit. Um, because I had pieces wrong. So I fixed it. But super cool puzzle. If you've never done one, I definitely recommend trying one one day. Um, this infinity puzzle my son got me for Christmas. And you basically, you put it together. But when you finish it, you can still keep putting the pieces in different spots. And it'll just keep going and going and going and going. It's really cool. It's infinite. It just, it never stops unless you run out of table space. But then I'm sure you could actually keep going. Uh, here's some more Buffalo Games puzzles. And some crazy art. Hot air balloons. I live in Albuquerque. So hot air balloons are a big thing around here. And I love the hot air balloon puzzles. There's an Amy Stewart puzzle. And another one. A lot of Seiko and Buffalo Games. A couple of dragon puzzles that I got from fairypuzzle.com. If you've never been to their website, they have some amazing puzzles. Uh, more Vinylinus. Some Minty Fizz puzzles. Um, the American Angel, the puzzle collection, those are pretty old. Uh, one from the Sequoia National Forest. More uh, murder mystery puzzles. Uh, there's an In Good puzzle my sister got me. I Am Eagle, I Am Tiger. I've done I Am Moose. It's hanging. It's hanging up. Odd Good Soonness, more murder mystery from University Games. And then there's the full collection to the Magic Puzzle Company. Those puzzles are really fun if you haven't tried them. Another recommended. Um, Blanc Puzzles. A whole bunch of Sieco Disney puzzles. Uh, some White Mountain puzzles. There's one from Puzzle So Hard. Uh, more Robinsberger. Uh, these ones from Society6 are actually puzzles I designed. Um, I have a whole... We used to make puzzles, um, but we just, um, with working and everything, we just really didn't have time to commit to it. So I put our designs on Society6. Um, so if you go there and search for Addicted to Puzzles, all the puzzles that I designed are on there. They're fractal. Um, there's a Basset Hound and I Love Puzzles. Um, so all those are puzzles that I designed. Um, I wish the pictures were actually on the side of the box so you could see them, but I'll do a separate video one day of just those puzzles. Um, there's some more hay puzzles. And then there's the human anatomy puzzles. Those were really, really cool. 
Uh, there's some really old puzzles that my sister found at um, the Goodwill. There's that Guardians of the Galaxy. Some of these puzzles I've already done. Um, there's another Amy Stewart Drops of Color. And then these are the Blue Kazoo Challenge puzzles. The 250 piece one, they have a 250 challenge, so I actually might stream on Twitch and see how long it takes me. I haven't decided yet, but I'll definitely do a video with a timer in it so you can see how long it takes to do a red 250 piece puzzle. It'll be really fun. <laughs> Um, all these bags are puzzles that I got when I was pretty young. Um, I just didn't have space for all the boxes, so I put them in bags. Some of them have a picture. Some of them don't. I think a lot of them are like Milton Bradley. There's an impossible puzzle in here of pigs flying, uh, with no border and the extra pieces. I should, uh, I'm going to do that one again one day because I think it would be a fun time lapse. All right, so here's my, this is pretty much all the puzzles I have are, I mean, some of these are done, but the, most of them I have not put together yet. So, yeah, be looking out for the Star Wars puzzle and pretty much all of these because I will definitely be getting them all together. Eventually. <laughs> so. Um, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all my time lapses and, um, I always post like the murder mystery puzzles so that you can get a, you know, you can figure out what it looks like at the end and, um, please subscribe. Today's my birthday. So for my birthday, subscribe <laughs> and like my video, share it if you want to. Um, yeah. And puzzle, have fun. Cause Puzzles have always been a huge part of my life since I was probably, I don't know, five maybe. I don't really know how old I was. <clears throat> but I've been puzzling for a long time and collecting puzzles for a long time. So I always see people post their puzzle collections and I'm like, I think mine's bigger. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have a great April 6th and forever, every day after that. Have a great day. And thanks. Should subscribe, like my video, share. Bye.